happy Tuesday, darlings. We are reading the sequel to what we read yesterday, which was Dragons Love Tacos. So today is Dragons Love Tacos 2, the sequel, written by Adam Rubin and Daniel Salamiri. I am so excited. I, you know I love tacos. You know I love dragons. You know I love the first Dragons Love Tacos. So let's give the second one a read and see if it is just as awesome as the first. Hey kid, why are all your dragon friends crying? They look so sad. Uh oh. We're not off to a good start. They look so, so sad. Look at these two, they're new friends. How oh, sweet. No more tacos. World in shock. Emergency supplies depleted. That means they, they're going away. Oh my. We've got to do something about this. Listen to me. Dragons, don't freak out. You think they're not going to freak out? It's their favorite food. No wonder they're upset. Dragons love tacos. Remember that time we had an awesome taco party with dragons? There were so many tacos. Pant loads of tacos. Big tacos, little tacos, beef tacos, chicken tacos. And because of a totally honest mistake, I'm not blaming anyone here, there were also some spicy tacos. Unfortunately, spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, you know. <laughs> Keep all dragons away from this taco. Dun, dun, dun. It's a spicy taco. But now, there are no more tacos. None. Nada. Nil. If only we could somehow go back in time to our delicious taco party. Before the spicy salsa, of course. We could save a handful of tacos, plant them in the ground, and grow a taco tree. So we'll never run out of tacos again. The dragons would be so happy. Do tacos grow on trees? Well, I know we're not supposed to mess with it, but this does seem like the perfect opportunity to fire up the time machine in the garage. <laughs> oh boy, we got a plan. A time machine lets you travel through time, back to the past when you were an itty bitty baby, or forward to the future when you've grown to be an old man. Or, in our case, back to the party full of tacos. I love this long neck, long neck dragon down there. <laughs> Reminds me of a mix between a giraffe and an apatosaurus. That is a giant time machine. You know what? Let's strap into this gizmo and give it a whirl. Set the dial to taco party. Ready? Set. In the time machine. Hey, that's you from before. Weird. Well, there are plenty of tacos here. Let's just grab some and head back before the dragons eat any spicy. Uh-oh. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ay, ay, ay. Somebody didn't warn it. The dragons. Yikes. I sure hope the time machine still works. Give the dial a little twist. We'll have to go a little further back. This time, before the dragons eat the spicy salsa. Ready, set, zam! Hmm, we may have gone a little bit too far back. 
crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh boy, not again. This time machine has seen better days. Try some machine oil. That might do the trick. Wait a second. That's not machine oil. This may complicate our journey through space and time. And it says machine oil, brand salsa, extra super duper spicy. Dragons love diapers? That's not right. Let's try again. See. Tacos love dragons? Weird, but closer. One more time. One more time. Dragons love tacos. That's it. Dragons, quick, grab some tacos and let's get out of here before it's too late. Crunch, crunch, crunch. We made it! Congratulations! Oh, come on. Come on. They're eating all the tacos before they even get back home. Love tacos. You saved one. Phew! We'll plant a tree and have tacos forever. The dragons will be so happy. After all, dragons love diapers. I mean, tacos. Dragons love tacos. <laughs> Heck, everyone loves tacos. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I want a taco tree. I would be so happy I'd have tacos for breakfast, tacos for lunch, tacos for dinner, tacos every day of my life. Dragons love tacos too. I hope you liked it. I hope it didn't make you too hungry. It made me hungry. I think I'm going to have to have a taco soon. I love you guys. I will see you on Wednesday. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I love you.